The idea of manufacturing fifth-generation fighter aircraft domestically has long been a strategic aspiration for Pakistan. This initiative is crucial for progressively absorbing next-generation technology into Pakistan's aerospace sector, strengthening national defense capabilities and laying the foundation for technological self-reliance. In 2018, the New York Times reported that Pakistan was exploring the possibility of working with China to expand the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, CPEC, to include the production of next-generation fighter jets in Pakistan. While relying solely on this report is insufficient to make definitive conclusions, similar claims were corroborated by various local media outlets. During 2016 to 2017, the Pakistan Air Force PAF leadership publicly stated its interest in collaborating with China to produce next-generation fighters domestically. Around the same time, the Aviation Industry Corporation of China, AVIC, was actively promoting the FC-31 project to potential export customers, offering domestic production tie-ins. This aligns with the New York Times report, adding weight to its plausibility. At the time, the scenario was promising. The PAF leadership explicitly expressed interest in domestic next-gen fighter production. AVIC was open to export partnerships for the FC-31. Media outlets reported plans to integrate fighter production into CPEC. Together, these factors pointed to a credible possibility of collaboration with China on producing a next-generation fighter jet in Pakistan. Post-2020, Turkey's rise in the global arms market offered another potential collaboration avenue. The Turkish defense industry proposed that Pakistan join its Khan TFX program for developing a fifth-generation fighter. However, multiple factors led to the failure of this collaboration, with the primary issue being Turkey's deep integration with European and American defense entities. These connections posed a problem for Pakistan, as many technologies available to Turkey were restricted or sanctioned for Pakistan. This breakdown left Pakistan with no viable option but to return to China for assistance in manufacturing a fifth-generation fighter. The envisioned next-gen fighter program is likely to follow a model similar to Pakistan's al haider tank program. Under this arrangement, Pakistan Army procured the VT-4 tank from China with transfer of technology, TOT. Heavy Industries Taxila, HIT, was tasked with localizing key VT-4 components, such as its 125mm main gun, fire control systems, and other critical subsystems. A similar approach can be anticipated for a fighter program. Pakistan may acquire the manufacturing rights to the FC-31, J-31, from China, initially relying on Chinese design and engines. Over time, key subsystems such as radar systems, mission control computers, and munitions would be localized, enhancing Pakistan's self-reliance. By adopting this phased localization strategy, Pakistan can gradually build its domestic aerospace capabilities. Collaborating with China under clear and strategic agreements will not only secure Pakistan's defense requirements, but also pave the way for broader technological advancement and industrial development.